Hello, 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 hello. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Tierra Cero. I appreciate you guys clicking on to my video. This video will be for all my beautiful and my handsome kings and queens out there. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Keep in mind that this is a generator, so it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. So please take the parts that does and what doesn't leave us your announce. Also, this could be the past, the present, or the future. And to be aware of any scammers in the comment section who pretended to be me, okay? Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started, love. All right, it's a lot we need to cover on this type, oh, honey. Um... <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm going to clear the throat, you know. Um, I'm definitely getting that some of you, it's like you're going to be giving gratitude and feeling very grateful, all right, um, from how far you have came. Some of you, it's like you are the blueprint. You have been gifted um, the gift from the cosmos, you know what I mean? And you know what I'm saying? It has been instilled in you. Okay, for some of y'all, um, you're going through a rebirth cycle once again for some of y'all. So the question is, are you ready? If that makes sense. Are you ready for this new cycle? And, and um, something is going to change, okay? It could be a blessing out of whatever this is, though. But something is going to change within your, you know, is it your job, your, your relationships, your partners, what have you. Okay, like I said before, you are the blueprint. With that being said is, you are given these gifts, so some of you have to go astray. And that has to do with maybe family members for some of y'all. It's time for you to let somebody go and find unconditional love. Okay, it's your season of unconditional love. Now, is something in your life at this time doesn't mean no well, you trying to hold on to it. You trying to hold on to it. The universe is going to split the two of you together because they were not meant to be for a lifetime. You go through cycles in life. This person is here for a cycle. Okay, but now. Are you ready? Are you really ready for change? Because with life, it's constant. Constant lux, constant ups and downs, or what have you. Okay? But at the same time, it's like it's a new cycle. So some of you could be going through the dark night of the soul. For some of y'all, not all of y'all. Something already drastically happened, and that it meant, and it was you know, supposed to occur that way. And okay? it was meant to happen that way. Period. Point blank. All right. So some of you... You could have went through a Pacific cycle with an emperor energy. Um, others of you, it could have been through a, with a mother figure. Okay, um, I'm also getting, I'm seeing a karmic woman as well here. So we're going to get into it. So it's somebody here, y'all, that has some type of hot steam passion for you. Highly attracted to you. And whoever this person is, it is a boss. Okay, um, or you are this boss. Put it where it fits, but... It's like you are definitely very strong and kind in nature. All right. Some of you could be a beast, low key. But at the same time, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You you always show a softer, nurturing side to yourself because that's who you are. All right. That's how you present yourself to the world. All right. Because you are a light worker. Others of y'all, it's like there is a Queen of Cups energy, specifically a Scorpio, that is competing with you. Or there's just a mother figure here. It could be your mother, mother, somebody that has children. Um, it could be a karma. It could be anybody. But it's a feminine energy. It could be a water sign uh, feminine energy oh you could be this water sign others if you are there is a queen of wands involved leo aries or sagittarius okay but some this is more of how somebody looks at you though okay they find you to be very fine honey okay and somebody sees that okay and they kind of try to compete with you in some type of way some of you could be at a distance with someone or from this emperor here, he could, you know, be bald-headed. That ain't for everybody. Okay, he could be tall, very tall. Um, I'm getting six feet for some of y'all. Could be a little built, don't have to be, but he got a little, little bit of weight on his bones. Okay, a little meat on the bone. All right, um... But others of y'all, yeah, going back to the boss energy. So we have here lover. So this could be a Leo or you could be a Leo. Then we have judgment, Scorpio energy, moon card, uh, cancer energy, hermit, Virgo. Okay. Um. So, yeah, something here was hidden. Something here was covered. All right. In a situation, something was an illusion or there was a Virgo. All right, or you could be this Virgo here that somebody tried to put illusion over your head, or somebody was putting illusion over this emperor here, and it was a Virgo, all right, or a Cancer. But some or they, these people were involved, okay, in the situation here, mm. because something could have ended with this water sign, feminine energy, all right, from the past, Scorpio energy. Something could have ended with this Scorpio in the past, or what have you, hmm. But this, this Queen of Cups was competing with the Queen of Wands, all right? I'm getting, though, for some of you, this could even be people in your family, okay? Because we have here, ooh. 
For others of y'all, some of you, you could have had a Queen of Cups or a Queen of Wands, a Virgo in your family that was competing over a father figure. Um, could be your father, the grandfather, what have you. They wanted to have the attention from this father. They wanted to um, have what, ooh, I'm hearing whatever, you know, their assets when they passed. Wow. Wow. Anyway, it says break a generational curses. Some of you, it's like you are the black sheep of the family. You do not. Oh, I'm getting a distinct smell. Okay. Mm, these ascensions, y'all, symptoms is just for the birds. You understand what I'm saying? The headaches and the fucking smells and the, the fatigue and shit. Okay. What the hell? But yeah. So... Yeah, so somebody here, some of y'all break a generational curses. It's like you're not in the box. It's like you open up your mind to different possibilities of, you know, perspectives in life. And you actually understand the codes of life for some of y'all. That's why it was instilled in you. Okay? You have the gift from the cosmos. You have been chosen. Okay? You have a specific DNA strand in you, a God like strand in you. Okay? So you break generational curses and you have family members here that does not like that, okay? Does not like that, baby. And it doesn't matter because you don't need these people. And that's what's also going to be the shake-up for some of you. You have to get away from these mother figures, these siblings, or whoever these family members are that's trying to count you out, that doesn't want you to shine, okay? Whoever these people are. Others of y'all... We have a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn that could be overprotective of you or you are this Virgo Taurus or Capricorn is overprotective of yourself. Some of you are protecting your finances. You're not helping out any family members. You're not giving them any money. Okay? And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords because you got clarity on how these family members roll. So you're protecting yourself. Okay? With the Seven of Wands or you are protective. Period. Protected. Yeah. Hmm. Somebody doesn't like the fact they don't like their they don't like your mind, the way that you think. Okay? They don't like the fact that you are chosen. They don't like that guy like energy in you. Alright, whoever these family members are, they want to control over you. They want to uh I'm sorry, I'm sick of this shit. This type of energy, you feel me? Somebody here wants to, but there's another energy that you can be battling as well, and it could be a female energy. It says, wants to turn you out. Karmic woman. On the DL. So I'm getting whoever this woman is, she ain't even came out yet or said that she likes women. Okay, but she wants you to be, you want, she wants you to come out. She wants you to be gay or be on the dollar, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Her vice versa for masculines, whatever. But there's a feminine here that could be attracted to you. Could be having it. What? I got this energy before in one of my other readings, but this bitch wants you to be turned out. I'm getting for some of y'all because she doesn't want you to be attracted to an emperor energy for some of y'all. Okay, because this emperor has hot steam passion for you. So she wants you to like the same sex. Okay, so that you won't be attracted to this emperor that wants you. Wow, that's wow. The the the, the depths. The, the, the thought pattern of these these bitches. I don't understand. Uh, anyway, um, what? But yeah, so some bitch want to want you to be turned out, so that you want find um emperor appealing or what have you. But then we have the four of pentacles. It's like you're you're holding yourself back. I'm definitely getting you protecting your money. You're not giving to no fucking body. Okay, for some of y'all, it's like somebody here or a couple of people. I'm getting everybody. That ever doubted you or tried to stop you or any type of way family members try to dim your light or what have you along the years. It's like they found out that you are this empath. So they try to play on you. Okay? They try to play on you because you are this empathic person. They knew that you were very sensitive. You had a big heart. You're very beautiful. Okay? You're kind. You're, you know what I'm saying? So they try to take advantage. Okay? Take advantage of your kindness. Hmm. Wow. It's like you had to do you had to make a decision whether to heal or stay in the same cycle. 
okay? But some of you, you're so you're chosen to the point where even if you was comfortable and you don't want to change, you don't want to let these people go, they were still going to spin that motherfucking wheel on your ass because you have a higher purpose, baby. All right, they didn't give you them gifts for nothing. Period. All right. So I see you moving forward after this healing. Okay. There could have been an Aquarius involved, but there's people here that admire the fuck out of you. There's people here that's watching you that you don't even know. Strangers. Okay. That's looking up to you. They got your back. Fuck these family members or whoever these people are. Okay. This cycle is coming to an end. It's coming to a close. You understand me? Some of y'all, this is what's crazy. You're about to get a new beginning, a new opportunity, you know, some type of love here. There's a cycle that's ending so that you can have a new cycle, okay, of love, unconditional love, okay, more money, okay, you're going to be in that, that higher frequency, so you're going to attract money here to the point where you're not even going to be looking at your bank account, you understand me? All right, you're going to have people that's going to be around you that's going to actually give a fuck about you, all right? Not trying to benefit benefit off of you. Not just with you, you know what I'm saying, for conditional reasons. You know what I'm saying? But there's going to be something coming towards you. And it will be in the form of an offer. But something else has to end. Okay? Yeah, it's time to let these people go. It's time to leave them out in the motherfucking cold, y'all. Okay? For some of y'all. Some of y'all like, I already did. I'm by myself. What the woo? Even in mindset, love. Okay? Mm, to the cuffs, baby. You about to be happy as hell. Some of you are already in this energy of celebration. Okay, of bliss and happiness. Love. Yes, boo. Alright, for others of y'all, it's like you're about to transition. You're going through it. Alright. Ooh, yeah. Mm, some of you, it's like you're walking away from maybe a home dynamic or like once again your family. Okay, you're walking away from them. You're packing your bags and you're getting the fuck out of Dodge. Okay. Wow, it's time. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Ace of, Ace of Wands. Ooh, King of Swords. Mm, why well, I got pain in my back all of a sudden or tingling in my back? I don't know what that means, but. Mm, right in your back? I don't know. Ooh, y'all got so much going on, boo. But um, I'm seeing there's a new relationship, okay, coming in. For some of y'all, it could be air sign. Don't have to be, or it's like you're making a decision or you're making a choice. But whatever it is, baby, I see generational wealth, honey. All right, there's gonna be a new spark that's gonna come into your life, love. I see new energy, something creative is coming in, baby. You about to step into this boss energy. All right, yeah. What is this? Hmm. So if you are going through any burdens as far as with your money, okay, that shit is about to turn around, love. Damn, that shit is about to turn around for some of y'all. Eight of Pentacles, yes. Oh. So I see you just cutting off motherfuckers left and right. New, old, whatever. Okay, trying to revisit you. You're done. You're done. All right, you ain't playing with these motherfuckers no more. Okay, yeah. The Two of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Damn. So, somebody here definitely, okay, is, ooh, feel, they, they stuck as fuck. I'm going to just say they stuck as hell. They worried at night. They got anxiety, too, about you moving on in regret. So, these are how these people are feeling at this time. All right, they see that you are this matriarch, okay? You are the one that got away. Wow. They're going to want to try to communicate with you. It could also be a king of wands, okay? Yeah, but you're, like, like I said, you're rejecting these motherfuckers. You ain't got nothing for nobody. You ain't giving these people nothing. Nothing. Okay, you are this empress, and you're tired of being betrayed. So a situation is over for you, love. You're invested in yourself, and that's just period, point blank. You got a smile on your face. Okay, yes, justice is being served, love. Period. All right, you stepping into, some of you could be stepping into that masculine energy from our feminines. Okay. Oh, yeah, temperance. Yeah, you are this fucking earth angel. Man, you shift the world. You shift in the world, baby. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say. You're going to have people that's going to come and go. Just know that. You're going to help people, all right? And you're going to go about your way. But you're also going to get people that's going to come in and stay for a lifetime. Not no seasonal ass shit, okay? You know what I'm saying, boo. All right, loves. I'm going to end it right there. Happy Friday. Okay, enjoy you guys this weekend. If you guys need anything else from me, 
look in the description box below. If you'd like to join and become a member only, um, I guess look on the computer or laptop. You'll see the join button there, okay? Love you guys. See you next time. Bye. Oh, and the reason why I'm doing a collective reading on a Friday, because y'all showing y'all girls so much love. Got so many readings and questions, you know, what have you. You guys are, you know, ordering so many services. I love you guys. So it's like, please be patient with your girl, but I love you. See you next time. Bye.